How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar free review. Got an awesome new knife here today. This is the Fair Monster Glideman. If you haven't heard of this company yet, you will be. They seem like they're starting to blow up. Check out the packaging. You get a patch. Pretty cool. Uh, specs. Paperwork. And a zipper pouch with the microfiber cloth and here's the knife very good looking knife unique looking blade this one is $228 there's four different versions one of them is $238 but the rest are $228 and I do have a 10% discount code for this company I'll have it linked in the bio Got a 3.05 inch M390 blade, satin finish, flat grind, and I'm gonna call this one a sheep's foot. Uh, the M390 6062 HRC. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that, please. You got a 0.13 blade stock. Or 3.3 millimeters. Let's check out the factory edge. Oh yeah, that's crazy sharp. I got well under a hundred on my best tester, so doing a good job on their edges. Got an overall length of 7.19 inches, so in that medium size range, I guess you could say. Let's compare it to some other knives. Got the Fair Monster Urban Grip, my other only other one. It's quite a bit bigger. Got the Yen Chevron, a little bit bigger, not a lot. Artisan Cutlery Boa. Pretty close, maybe a hair smaller. And the Kaiser Cormorant. Pretty close as well, maybe a little bigger. And the Penguin, since it's sitting here. QSP Penguin is a tiny bit smaller. Got a 4.13 inch handle, 0.47 inches wide. T8 on your screws, love to see that. Yeah, doing good things there. 3.77 ounces, there is some weight relief cutouts on the inside. And you do have a titanium milled clip. It is not on the lock bar. That is good to see. Goes in and out of the pocket just fine. Works good. And kind of from the looks of it being so narrow, I didn't think it was going to be that good. But it works great. And you don't feel it in hand either. That's what's cool. The handle is a bead blasted titanium. Just plain Jane. There is a few different versions though, like I said. I'll try to put those up on the screen. And this is a frame lock. Access is pretty good. There's a chamfer and some cutout. Good action. Your deployment methods are your flipper tab. Let's see. Nope, I can't fill it. You also got your thumb hole and an awesome detent. Very nice detent for a frame lock. You do have a titanium backspacer that doubles as a lanyard hole. And a wonderful sharpening tool. Been sharpening this for days. Comes down relatively thin behind the edge. You do have this troll you can also use as a finger troll to get your full hand on there. Let's see, if I back up, even if I, I can still do it. Yeah. Pretty comfortable in hand. 
I like it like this the best. Yeah. Now let's get into my dislikes. Um, I had this knife for a few days. I haven't really had anything glaring out at me. I would prefer the frame lock cutout to be on the inside. Looks better. Um, and the only real complaint is it does have a little bit of stop pin rattle. Not when it's closed. Not when it's opened. But when it's halfway, the stop pin does move. That is a very easy fix. You can maybe take it apart, put some tissue or something in the hole just to fill the void. Um, really just a minor thing they could have did better. But like I said, you can't hear it when it's open or closed. You really got to be looking for it. Yeah, awesome knife. Do have an affiliate link for these down below with a discount code. Check them out. We're doing some good good work right now and um yeah subscribe if you haven't already give me a like and a comment and i will see you on the next one